Welcome to the FEMAP version 11.1 .1 What's New video series. In this video we'll be looking at some of the new FE modeling enhancements. FEMAP has extensive model merging capabilities that can help transfer FE modeling entities from one model to another, which can facilitate the reconstruction of legacy models. You have full control of the FE entities to be considered in the merge, including boundary conditions, groups, layers, and analysis sets, and how they are renumbered if necessary. Also, models can be transformed and reoriented during the merging process. Model merging is an easy way to reconstruct assemblies and can be used to transfer frequently used materials, properties and layups, etc. from existing models to new models. There is an option when meshing solids with tetrahedral elements to ensure that the mesh creates multiple elements through a thickness continuously right through the volume of the solid. Any solid mesh like this is seeded from an initial surface mesh, so if you require multiple elements through the thickness right up to and including the cross-section surface, then the surface mesh at that point should be seeded with multiple elements as well. We can use FEMAP's grouping and visualization capabilities to verify easily that the mesh has followed the request for multiple elements through the thickness. FEMAP 11.1 .1 has been updated to include the latest tetrahedral mesher, which produces improved meshes by eliminating the creation of flat or sliver tetrahedra, generating meshes that will yield more accurate results. Pads and washers were introduced in a previous release of FEMAP to help create a well-sized and ordered mesh around holes, which are typical stress raises in a model and where you need a high degree of mesh control. Pad definition controls have been extended to help orientate and align the pad. You can align pads to a vector, to be tangent to a curve, or leave it to the default alignment. You can also align pad and washer combinations. In the mesh copy command, it's possible to copy and offset a mesh along the element normals to create a duplicate mesh offset at a specified distance. You can optionally include a corner thickness correction to ensure a constant offset in areas where the elements are not coplanar, similar to the thickness correction option used when extruding planar elements to solids. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com/plm/femap or call your local channel partner.